Again tonight in Santa Barbara County, where leaders and one Santa Maria nonprofit are partnering up. Is it an effort to provide an innovative way of addressing low-level local crimes? KSBY's Jacob Dizon has more on the plans. Traditionally, when someone's arrested for first-time low-level crimes like drinking underage, petty theft, or vandalism, they could be looking at a court date as well as a lasting stain on their permanent record. The Neighborhood Restorative Justice Program in Santa Barbara County is providing an alternative course of action. I think a lot of us in the community are concerned about crime. You know, we, we want to see crime reduction. We want to see people be held accountable for the things they've done. But we also don't think one size fits all. The Neighborhood Restorative Justice Program first launched last year in Goleta, but in the coming months, it will be available countywide. For someone who's committed a first time misdemeanor offense, like possessing alcohol at the age of 18, a conviction could prevent them potentially from going to college, uh, affect their life forever. So a program like this can give that individual an opportunity to you know, understand uh, what they did. In place of a traditional courtroom setting where a judge would typically issue a fine, probation, or possible jail time, the Neighborhood Restorative Justice Program takes an alternative approach. If somebody is uh, arrested for a crime, they have a chance to sign up for a diversion program called the Neighborhood Restorative Justice Panel. And so through that, they would meet with community members who've been trained by us at Fighting Back, Santa Maria Valley, in a restorative process. During that panel setting, first-time offenders will meet with program volunteers and facilitators to take responsibility for their crime while acknowledging the impact it had upon the community. Elaine Contreras, legal support manager for the county DA's office, says the panelists will then provide the offender with possible solutions to make things right. Whether that be an apology letter, um, whether it be a research paper on you know, the effects of graffiti in the neighborhoods, um, or it could be um, they take a class, an educational class. Um, so there's a myriad of different things that they can um, do to make it a restorative, a restorative solution. After that process is completed, the low-level misdemeanor will then be wiped from the offender's permanent record. But in order for the program to get started in Santa Maria, more help is needed. Please don't rule yourself out. We'd really like you to apply and be part of our panel. I think you'll find it very rewarding to be part of this process. You'll learn a lot about the judicial system and you'll be giving back to your community in a very unique way. Volunteer Neighborhood Restorative Justice panelists have to be 18 years or older and must pass a background check with the Santa Barbara County District Attorney's Office. It's expected that the program will be offered in Santa Maria and Lompoc by early fall. Jacob Dizon, KSBY News. Incidents including sexual assault, robbery, and other violent crimes will not be considered for the program. Prior criminal histories will also be taken into consideration.